our next adventure takes us to the winter wonderland of Zermatt, Switzerland. From the charming ski town vibes to hitting the slopes for some epic skiing and of course uncovering the best Apre ski spots, join us on this snow filled journey. Don't forget to like and subscribe to follow along with our top line travels. Brad and I have made it to Switzerland. We have bought tickets, we're heading to Geneva and then onwards to France. It's all happening. Can't wait to see the snow. It's early. We've hired this dinky little car and we're on our way from France into Switzerland. Jumping in and hitting the road now. Excited to see some different culture. We've packed our skis. The drive from Morzine in France through to Zermatt took us three hours and we got to see the best sunrise along the way. So for us to hire this car, we used the app called Get Around. Pretty simple and easy. You literally upload your driver's license and documents, scan your face, it all gets verified and you pick up the car, would recommend. Made it to the car park here where we catch the train up to the town. Hey, hey. got the skis sorted. Oh. Only residents are permitted to drive into town. So to access Zermatt, visitors can park their vehicles for 15 francs a day and take the shuttle train. The shuttle train costs 17 francs for a return trip and operates every 20 minutes, providing a convenient 12 minute journey up the mountain to reach the center of town. Brad's done a good job to secure our bags in the train so it doesn't roll away. <laughs> we stayed at Alpen Resort Hotel in Zermatt, which offers a conveniently located and affordable option for accommodation. We've done a quick turnaround so that we can head up the mountain for the rest of today. Can't wait to check out the tippy top, see the Matterhorn and do some skiing. We're heading up to Glacier Paradise, highest peak of Zermatt. Heading up the mountain, got the whole gondi to ourselves, and the views of the Matterhorn from the gondola, epic. Zermatt is part of Matterhorn Ski Paradise, which is one of the largest ski areas in the Alps. The ski area includes the Matterhorn Glacier Paradise, which boasts the highest cable car station in Europe, 3,883 metres above sea level. We've made it to the top after one hour from the bottom. Wow. This. With its high elevation and excellent snow conditions, Zermatt attracts ski enthusiasts from around the world. With the iconic Matterhorn as its backdrop, you can enjoy amazing views while carving down the slopes. Because Zermatt is so expensive, we've avoided all of the restaurants and come to the grocery store. The grocery store has everything. So many fresh, pre-packed meals ready to go. So it's been perfect and a fraction of the price. Boys, carrying our skis this morning. Round two, Zermatt, let's go. There's honestly so many ways to get up this mountain. There's an outdoor train, indoor train. It's insane. When purchasing a ski pass for Zermatt, adults can expect to pay around 80 francs per person per day, but it's worth every penny for the incredible skiing experience. Ski passes can be conveniently purchased online or at the ski offices, ensuring easy access for visitors eager to hit the slopes. We've stopped in for an April and this place has really cool hats so I had to pop one on and the sun's out so I've had to strip all my layers off and enjoy it. So, so good. Yeehaw. Luella has brought us the goods. Look at this gal. 
gonna make our way to the park now and do some jumps. There's a massive park here in Zermatt. It's pretty cool, lots of things to hit and we can't wait to check it out. Zermatt offers extensive ski opportunities with interconnected slopes in both Switzerland and Italy. There are over 360 kilometers of ski slopes catering to all levels. Skiers and snowboarders can enjoy a variety of terrain from gentle slopes for beginners to challenging black runs and off-piste adventures. How freaking good is this, guys? So good! Ah! Unreal! Last run, getting kicked off the mountain. Literally crazy beautiful. into town it's getting dark we've just watched the sunset and we want to go check out the little main street of Zermatt. Surrounded by the stunning Swiss Alps main street in Zermatt is so charming the quaint little taxis add to the charm shuttling visitors through the streets which are lined with brand name stores cozy cafes and inviting restaurants. In addition to skiing, Zermatt offers a range of winter activities such as snowshoeing, ice climbing and scenic helicopter flights, ensuring there's something for everyone to enjoy amidst the stunning alpine scenery. Made it to the Igloo Bar, it is huge! Overlooks to Matterhorn, it's amazing. So they still kitted out, guess everything. There's frozen jewellery high heels, sunglasses, all the high brands, in the snow, in the ice, in these igloos. It's actually so crazy. Brad's getting us a little hot chocky with cream on top. Yum! Ah, uh, don't mix that on the And then on the chocolate powder. Oh, yeah. oh premium. The ski season in Zermatt typically runs from late November to early May with reliable snow conditions and stunning views of the Matterhorn throughout. The Matterhorn, located on the border between Switzerland and Italy, is one of the most iconic mountains in the Alps, standing 4,478 metres tall. It is just beautiful. Zermatt's apres ski scene is buzzing with energy, especially at hotspots like Hennestall and Harry's Bar, where you can dance or sip on cocktails, relax and enjoy your apres ski experience. Alright, after a big party at Hennestall, which is one of the best apres places in Zermatt, we're heading down before it gets dark because we don't want to be Amazon safety first. Yeah. <laughs> this 
place is such a vibe. Skis are clipped on, ready to go, and we're going all the way down to the village. Wish me luck. If you're up for some late night fun, Zermatt's club scene is also a good time, including hot spots like Pink Club, which keeps the party going with music and dancing until the early hours of the morning. Last day in Zermatt and what an epic trip it's been. We're gonna go for a little walk up to a viewpoint over the Matterhorn. It's a little bit overcast and I think the top of that mountain's covered but we wanna see the whole town. Onwards to the viewpoint. So many stairs. The altitude. Ah. Hey, that view! The hike was worth it. Look at that. Our visit to Zermatt was simply fantastic. The adorable town coupled with the unreal skiing against the stunning backdrop of the Matterhorn made for an unforgettable experience. And that's a wrap. All done, Zermatt. Such a good trip. So, so cool. Next episode, we're diving into the picturesque town of Morzine, France, our home base for the next little while. Join us as we stumble upon a thrilling ice hockey game, we chase waterfalls hidden in the local landscape and explore restaurants in town. But that's not all, as we show you where you can indulge in the best Swiss fondue in a cozy mountain bubble. Like and subscribe to follow along with our top line travels.